Hi everyone. Here we go. This question here says, on a quiz, there are five multiple choice questions, each with four options here. Now I know you can't see the whole question here, but hopefully you're, you're looking at it there. Um, so again, five multiple choice questions, each with four options here. So let's kind of summarize this. So five multiple choice questions, four options each. Okay. Now the question is, how many ways are there of, of answering, okay, the questions here. Now we're, we're assuming that you maybe don't know what's going on and you're just kind of randomly guessing at these things. So how many ways can you build an answer key? Maybe a better way to do this. Well, we want to apply the fundamental counting principle here. Um, so we need to determine what are all the different uh, tasks that we need to accomplish and how many ways can we accomplish each of those tasks? Well, there are five tasks here, okay? There are five questions. So one, two, three, four, five. And each one of these has got uh, four ways of, of doing the problem here. So, okay, so this is going to be five, sorry, five. Four times four times four times four times four. So, okay, for each step along the way, for each task, we multiply the number of options or the number of ways we can do that individual task altogether. So this is going to end up being four to the fifth and four to the fifth is going to be 1,000, whoops, you can't see that, 1,024. Now I want to make sure that we're really clear that this is not, okay, this is not uh, five times four. And let me explain why here. Five times four, <coughs> in this particular case here, five represents one choice out of five options. And then the presence of the four represents one choice out of four options. So what you would be doing here is answering the question, how many ways can I choose a single question to answer and answer it? Okay, you're only answering one question here. So this over here, this is, okay, a single question. I've got four choices for that question. I've got four choices for this question, four choices for the question. And then each question is represented by a single factor in that question. Hopefully that makes sense.